hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther mofri so in today's video in today's video we are doing jpy uh, pairs challenge i've never done such a challenge in my youtube video uh, in my youtube channel so we'll be doing seven pairs of jpy challenge so today when i woke up jpy pairs mostly had dropped around 700 600 others 500 pips like if I show you uh, today, today's candle, 6 a.m. today, the market really dropped. You can see this is a very big drop. And because I've been watching these pairs and I wanted to know how I can trade them, now it's the time that I can apply a BM strategy. You know, every strategy that I got, there's what that triggers my strategy. So on, in this case, a BM strategy, you have to have the very... You must have very big momentum candle so that the ABM strategy might apply. So every time you have this momentum candle, this is GBP, JPY. Every time you have this big momentum candle, now we can use the ABM strategy. Remember I told you ABM means approach, B stands for break, and, and M stands for 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 mission. So even if you have this momentum candle, you have to ask yourself, what is happening in the market? This just one candle is 617 pips. So I decided to do this video with you guys. We do a challenge on JPY pairs. So what in this challenge is required, you have to fund your account maybe from $100 because you see JPYs, they are very volatile. And then you need to use a minimum lot size of 0 0.01 per trade that I'll give. And then if we get a setup, because already we have this momentum candle, the market, if we get a setup, it's a good chance to trade any pair with JPY. So, and I will not be looking for sale. I will not look, be looking for sale. I want to look for a reversal because even if, the market just reverse half of that. It's like 300 pips, still you'll make money. So the JPY pairs, it's good to do this challenge at this moment because in the next few weeks before, a uh, few days, we are remaining with two weeks for the year to end, the market will be manipulated so easily. So in this challenge, one, you need a funded account with at least $100 and then you're not trading anything else we are only trading jpy's pairs jpy pairs so we we only trade jpy pairs because if you try to trade other pairs you will interfere with the holding because in this challenge you are holding to where i will tell you to step out guys so if you're in this challenge you can comment down below i'll leave my telegram uh, group link on the comment section you can join the telegram you can go fund your account and this will make be your first trades that you'll be holding long time so without wasting any time let's go through the jpy pairs and see what are we looking after so every time I want to give a trade what uh, a trade that I'm holding. The first thing that my mind tell me is go to monthly time frame. Go to monthly time frame because if you want to give people a signal to hold monthly, we need to be supported on monthly. So this is GBP JPY on monthly, guys. I will be giving you analysis of seven JPY pairs, seven good pairs. We are starting with GBP, JPY. Let's try to familiarize ourselves because even if I give you the signal, you need to do the judgment by yourself. You need to know what am I looking after. So on monthly, guys, I don't know if you can see this is a, a double bottom. We have a double bottom there on monthly. So I'll just place the double bottom there on monthly. It is very clear. You can see it. We have a double bottom on monthly. And then we have to identify three things. You have to identify the neckline. And because the neckline has been broken, there is no need of identifying the half. Because the half we identify when the double bottom is starting. So in this case, you just identify the neckline and the double bottom. So we want to really understand what is happening with GBP, JPY. Is this big momentum move for today? Is it an actual move or is it just a retracement kind of a thing to trap sellers so that the market can go up? So for me, I have to know which pattern 
will support me to buy because remember guys i've told you any jpy pairs i'm not looking to sell i'm already late selling if you wanted to sell jpy pairs you'd have sold the beginning of this week or last week and you have would, you would have banked a lot of money but today if you try to sell it will be a hassle because a pair that has gone 600 pips down already it is oversold so according to the structure on monthly it will give us a go ahead if at all we want to buy it will give us a go ahead if on monthly it is supporting sell we will do away with that jpy pair and move to the next now gbp jpy it is a confirmation of buy so buyers have been confirmed buyers have been like on monthly we have a confirmation so monthly there is a confirmation so let me show you gbp jpy just having that double double bottom that has broken neckline already on monthly we have been confirmed so whenever the market breaks the neckline it goes this distance i have always taught you on how to get that distance for your take profit so the market will go that distance uh to all the way so the market will always cover that distance to complete the double bottom and for us we will not start we will not be targeting 188 because those are very many pips guys let's see they are almost 2800 as we are targeting half of that box so we'll be targeting if we enter this trade if gbp jpy give us an entry our take profit guys will be at 173 that is where i'm giving you a take profit this is a trade that will show you the patience to hold we need to hold this pair and that's why i'm telling people have a different account so that you don't keep checking checking and if we get this um confirmation we will be uh banking 1200 pips guys so that is the direction of this market now we had we have identified the take profit from monthly we are not going to lower time frame to identify the take profit so the take profit one is at 173 so we can do tp1 and then i can adjust there 173 we want it to be at 173 so tp1 is at 173 flat so we can do 173 guys that's what i'm saying if you can be able just fund an account and take this as a challenge, guys. Don't put another pair, any pair that you don't only put the signal that I'll give and I'll be giving the free signal and I'll, I will be, this is a challenge. Just take it as a challenge. So it will go to 173 according to, to monthly. So I'll just give you monthly, my perspective on monthly and then I don't want to go to weekly. Why? Because monthly, we are remaining almost like 10 days. Those are exactly two weeks for the candle, monthly candle to close. So what they'll do, if at all we have, we know what to do on monthly, now our friend is daily to look for entry. Remember, we are not trying to understand this chart. We only go to weekly if we don't have an idea of what we want but because we already have an idea of what we want now we are going to daily straight away so let's go to daily and see what can motivate us to be buying gbp jpy i had already done the analysis so that this video cannot be long um this is the this is my idea guys this is gbp jpy on daily I might have a possible double bottom. This market, I wanted to test like uh, to reach 159, around 159.99 to tap that zone. And then you can see here we have BOS. So I'm using two strategies to trade GBP JPY. So whenever the market has BOS, uh, the break of structure, I can apply BWA. And this strategy, I, it's the strategy I keep telling you guys, it's only taught on my mentorship program i have never done a video on bwa because it's not a public strategy it's only on my private mentorship so i can choose to apply bwa strategy or i can wait for the possible double bottom to happen so that i can apply the wbb strategy where we wait for the green candle so if at all i don't use the bwa i will apply what the wbb 
strategy. So I will apply the WBB strategy and you need to know what does the WBB strategy suggest? It simply suggests if you ha if you have a possible double bottom, you're supposed to wait for the red candle, uh, the green candle, sorry. So we are waiting for we are waiting for green candle. So we are waiting for green candle and then we are checking if it's bullish engulf. Bullish bullish engulf so we are waiting for green candle then we check if it's bullish engulf and then if not we put the box so with gbp jpy i can use bwa strategy or i can use wbb strategy and this is daily guys so because i know the candle will, might close like that i still need another day so tomorrow being on a wednesday most probably this signal i'll give it on thursday most probably i'll give it on thursday so on thursday be prepared we have work to do now let's go to the other pair audi jpy so what we are starting with you can see audi jpy audi jpy let, let me show you you can see how the manipulation of that candle so this is a market this is today candle and that's why i'm saying we take advantage on audi on jpy pairs this is 400 pips guys 400 pips and the only way we can take advantage if it's to know the direction of this market because again we don't want to buy blindly we don't want to come here and buy blindly so what we do we'll go to monthly let's go to monthly and see what we have so if i go to monthly i can see i have a consolidation i have this consolidation so monthly it's a channel so i have a channel on monthly so it's either the market breaks below or breaks above simple don't complicate everything you see many people will try to complicate try to complicate so the market is either they break or they break above it's that simple guys so it's either they break on the support or they break on the resistance and this is what we call a channel break at resistance or at support so if i know this on monthly there is no much indication to tell me what i'm supposed to do if i attempt to use bwa strategy here i have to wait for january the january candle so my confirmation will be in feb in feb so if i try to use audi jpy monthly time frame i will really like the confirmation using monthly time frame for me the way i'm seeing i can only get it on feb because using bwa there's so many things you need to check so if I attempt to use that strategy, this pair, I can be comfortable to trade it after Feb, uh, after January, Feb, beginning of Feb. But because it's a channel, because it's a channel and it's on the side of the support, I will be looking to buy because the market has been, has been rejected at support once and now it's at that time, it's at the same time again. So I will be more aggressive on buying than selling but again don't think oh i will come just to buy blindly because the market can break this channel and continue selling so because on monthly i don't have enough i don't have enough information that's when i flip to weekly now not the difference gbp jpy i already knew on monthly double bottom broken uh, neckline moving towards the distance but on ODJPY I know nothing now if I come to if I come to this pair ODJPY on weekly now let me delete if I come to weekly that's when I can see my possible double bottom you see it is very very clear on monthly there's nothing like if I flip monthly there's no red candle you see this was a green candle which is making this double bottom not to be on monthly so i have double possible double bottom so um gp audi jpy we have possible double bottom let me show you possible double bottom so possible double bottom because it's forming the next step number two you have to mark your neckline number two you'll mark your neckline so that's how we do it so we mark our neckline so after we mark our neckline, step three, what are we supposed to do? Mark the half. So we are supposed to mark the half. Let's mark the half, guys. 
And I'm showing you what really happens when you want to analyze a pair. So your work, what are you supposed to wait on weekly? On weekly, we want to we want to see a bullish engulf candle. We want to see a bullish engulf candle like this. Next week, we would want to see a candle engulfing the red one for us to know that double bottom has has um has uh, been approved. But if at all we have a, just a green candle and it's not an engulf, that's when we go to step three. What do we do? Step three. If not, we put the box. So we are putting the box on that same green candle for us to now wait for the next candle, the next week, the market to break through so that we can take our first target at half and our second target at neckline. And remember, guys, you can't go to neckline uh, if the half is not broken. So it is in stages. The market is in stages. So now because you know the idea of double bottom on weekly and because we, I don't want us to wait for the whole of this week to see what will happen, let's now try to find out on daily if we have a double bottom. Let's try to find out if daily we have a double bottom. So what I'll do, I'll just squeeze in and you can see clearly even on daily we have this double bottom. So you can see it has at, it has touched so on it makes my work easier why because i will now look entry on daily yes big confirmation will come from weekly and the way i will be so attentive on how the market will close but my entry now i won't peg my entry on weekly because i have the same double bottom on daily so tomorrow i'm hoping I will have a green candle because, of course, I need a green candle. So I'm waiting for a green candle and then I can apply the WBB strategy. So the WBB strategy, it's simple. You apply the three entry signal. So once the green candle comes, it's you to ask your question. Is it um, bullish engulf? If not, you wait for a green candle. Then you wait for bullish engulf. Then if not WBB. So you see, that's what I'm saying, guys. Take serious this uh this challenge and open an account so that we might we may trade together. Once we get a confirmation, once maybe let's say we get a WBB somewhere there, we are trading it's almost 200 and something pips. So that is our DJPY. Now let's go to Euro JPY. Let's go to Euro JPY. On the other hand, Euro JPY uh this is euro jpy so let's go to euro jpy monthly so monthly we have a possible double bottom and because this possible double bottom has not the candle has not closed until the candle closes that's when we can judge this possible double top not double bottom double top so once you get a possible double top and if you cannot every pair i have to work with a pattern every pair i have to work with a pattern because patterns they give me more confidence in the market so i need to work this is that's a, that's a possible double top and then that this is my neckline this is my neckline that's my neckline and then the half guys and then the half this is the half so this is the half guys so everything is settled like for me Euro JPY, if I'm analyzing on monthly, that's what I'm seeing. There's nothing else I'm seeing. I'm seeing a possible double top neckline half and the market. And then we have a red fast red candle. I put a box like that. And then we are waiting on WBB on monthly candle close. So in the next 10 days, uh, the question is, will this red, red candle close like that? If it closes like this, any idea that I have on buying, it is gone. So right now, on monthly, the market can be sell long term. But unless they, they approve with the market breaking like that, we don't have chances to say it's sell or it's a buy. Uh, for me, on, on, on monthly, I might not be so into sell, all oh, sell, sell, and I have not seen how that is fast. You know, when we are crossing the new year, 
how this candle will close. Once it closes, I'll do a video and update you guys. So on monthly Euro JPY, it is in a very, very tricky situation. So let's go to weekly and see, would we be getting chances to sell or to buy? So according to weekly, what I'm seeing it's a possible double bottom. You can see the market. This is one candle support. You can see one candle support. And the market, uh, the market, it's like it had previously. This is a double bottom, guys. This is a double bottom. And we want to see why did this double bottom, uh, the market just go back immediately. So this is a double bottom. And this being the double bottom, this is our neckline. So you can see the market, of course, even they broke this, um, they broke the half attempting all and going to the neckline. You see the neckline, people don't ever target your take profit at the week of the neckline, always target at the bodies. And you can see it was almost touching. So that double top, actually it completed. So what we might have we might have a triple bottom. So this is a triple bottom and triple bottom will still do the same thing. So on weekly, um, the market might get rejected and we might have buy opportunity. So the savior here is daily. What is daily talking about or what do we have on daily time frame? So on daily time frame, first of all, because I have, this is a triple bottom. That's not a double bottom. That's a triple, triple bottom. So if we have this triple bottom, the market might still go up. So we are, this is the Euro JPY. I won't be so keen giving you, but if it gives me the good structure, I will give you for sure. So I have here, um, an order block. I have there an order block. I don't, I don't know if they can tap this order block so that it can be a good reason for them to go up. Because from where the market is to the order block is 116 pips. So let's wait and see what will happen. I'm really looking forward to see Euro JPY uh, giving us a good entry and targeting. Because if you check with, with weekly, the market has been trending above. Like this is a very good uptrend. So I don't think that the market wants to just reverse. And according to weekly, the market had broken structure before it went down. So for me, I'm still thinking the market wants to finish retracement and then go up. So that's my, my thoughts for now. So Euro JPY, until daily align with, with what I'm seeing, and then, and then we get uh buy so that once the monthly is closing this red candle will be maybe a green candle will not have broken at uh, that box you know once it breaks the box the sell is confirmed so as we because we don't want to sell we don't want to sell we want to buy we have to get some triggers guys that's how you get some triggers so that is euro jpy i don't know if i finish all of them or i stop there let me do one NSD JPY. I'll do the last one, NSD JPY. So when once you want to trade NSD JPY, you can see NSD JPY from monthly to consolidation. So it's either it can, it can go up or below. It can go up or below. From monthly, no confirmation. Let's go to weekly. From weekly, no confirmation. So NSD JPY, it won't be a good pair to give you. But on weekly, yes, this is a big channel, but what if they want to target this double bottom? You see, what if they want to target that small double bottom? And even if the weekly candle can uh, can break, this is the half. So next week, we want the market try attempting to break through there. So if I come to daily, because weekly, I have to wait for weekly candle. If I, have, if I come to daily, this is what I get. I get market getting rejected. It, it has a triple bottom it has a triple bottom so what i i would want in this case i would want to see a green candle then do and then wait for bw uh, wbb putting the box because it's either it engulfs the red one or we get the green one we put the box it breaks and then we target to the half so that's the only way we can trade nsd jpy guys i don't want this video to be past 25 minutes what i want to tell you is that yes i have analyzed one two three four i have remained with three pairs three pairs cut jpy chf jpy usd jpy 
I can do a separate video on card JPY, CHF JPY, and ESD JPY so that you may first digest what I have said and you may really understand what are we looking up to. So guys, go and try to find an account, a different account. Just make sure that that account will be trading JPY pairs if they give us an opportunity and now start practicing holding because these are pairs that will go very, very many pips in uh, in time to come. So thank you so much guys for watching. I know this video was long, but don't mind. Um, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye. Love you.